Ella guys is a small town tucked away in central Sri Lanka and it's a popular place for backpackers. There's a lot of hiking places to go, peaks to climb, flying zip line. And this particular street guys in Ella is famous for all its shops and restaurants and night spots. And today for lunch we're heading out to this particular restaurant. We go to the barn by Starbins for lunch. Cheers. Ella is located about 200 kilometers east of Colombo and is situated at an elevation of 1041 meters, about 3400 feet above sea level. So guys, this is the main street I'm talking about in Ella where all the restaurants, bars, guest houses, supermarkets, shops are located. This road becomes very vibrant at night with all the shops full of backpackers and tourists having their lunch, dinner and having a drink or a sundown. So today we are at the barn by Stabi and we are trying some western food like by Jane. This is Stab Italian. Wood fire pizza with Malaysian fried rice. It's not half Italian. Malaysian is Indian. Malaysian mee goreng. The mee goreng. Cooked by a Malaysian cook. So no, Malaysian no, no, oh, no. Okay? It's cooked by a Sri Lankan. Oh, but he learned in Malaysia. Yeah. Something like that. So guys, you see, this shop actually makes their pizza from scratch. You can What's your name? Suru. So you see guys, after the batter is shaped in the form of a pizza, then tomato paste is put on the pizza batter here, as seen here. Now we got this various cheese and vegetables, mushroom, etc. are put on the pizza. And finally, the pizzas are cooked in a wood fire oven for 3 to 5 minutes. How long? 3 minutes. Uh, no. 3 minutes? 3 minutes. 3 minutes and uh, 5 minutes. Minutes. After the pizzas are cooked, they even got these ready-made boxes ready. And the pizza is cut and sliced. And then delivered. I decided to try my pizza making skills by doing the same, putting the pizza into the wood bake oven. Okay, oh, no. no. Damage. Damage. Am I being eaten? Okay. Huh, okay, what? Okay. Good. See the size. For the size. Why, eh? So it was not as easy as it, as it looked. Uh, while slipping the pizza into the oven, I didn't do it smoothly. And thus, the pizza was not shaped correctly. As you can see here, the, the pizza I slipped in compared to the one done by the boys. So that's done by me and that's by them. You can see there's a bit of difference but anyway. Okay. Do it. Okay. Good. So the ultimate test now, we're going to get the girls to try the two different pizzas and give their opinion. They're not happy with that pizza I did but I say it's okay. It's okay, it's, okay. it's, it's okay. authentic, it's authentic. No issue. See the difference, eh? So just because of just because you didn't. Flick up your head. Huh? Flick up your head. We are pushing in it. Come here, I mean, no. Okay, can we have plates? Yeah. Onion and garlic prawn pizza. Vegetarian pizza, pizza rustica, Malaysian mee goreng with telo goreng on top, and dumpling soup. 
Yeah. You know why? Soup. They because they grilled it. The charcoal. Yeah. The charcoal. So it's the, and needs a bit of salt. The brinjal soup, soup is smoky. I think the salt. The salt. Ah, uh, Malay. Your soup is a bit salt. No. No, it's not. Salt. No soup. Bread would have been nicer, like we could dip and eat. <laughs> and uh, so Jane, turn for me. Why is it okay? When it drips like this, yeah. it's good sign. Oh, pizza has done well. I don't think so. It looks like a limp thing. No, that's how it is. Oh, is it? Mm. It's a flaccid one, lah, man. It's not erect. Good, all right. Very nice. It should be like this. Then it. Oh, Check out the grill. Tasty. Very tasty. Hey, come, come, come. Let's start, lah. Come. Suresh and I done by them. This my mind a bit. So, now I'm trying the Malaysian mee goreng. It doesn't taste too bad, eh? Hey, mama goreng ah. It'd be better if it's a bit more spicier, but. Got the chili flakes there. So, the mee goreng is pretty good. Maybe put a bit of lime on. Mm. The lime. This is a pizza. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned till the next one. Cheers.